All right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, we are the Mark app team, and this is Zach over here, Justin, my name is Ben. Um, and like I said earlier, this is for our information technology and computer science capstone project. Uh, so the, the problem we wanted to solve uh, with our capstone project is one of our own generation. Um, we're becoming very electronically social, um, and by that I mean we spend a lot of time on our devices, uh, whether it's a computer, phone, tablet, whatever, um, we're starting to spend more time doing that than we are interacting with people and interacting with environments. Um, and so we wanted to come up with, with a solution that would pair that phone that we're already so attached to uh, with the idea of going out and exploring um, an environment. Um, and another problem too with, uh, with these phones and devices is we get caught up in these emotionless feeds. They're just feeds of photos and statuses and stuff that doesn't really mean anything after you've passed through it uh, scrolling through. So our solution we came up with uh, is called Mark. It's an augmented reality photo sharing application. And by augmented reality, I mean we're throwing a layer um, on top of your own reality that already exists. Um, and so your phone kind of becomes a window into a whole other world. So like can be seen here, this person is pointing uh, their phone at the Eiffel Tower, um, and they're seeing what other people en envision when they saw the Eiffel Tower. And so the idea behind Mark is that you can mark an area by taking a photo of it, that photo gets tagged to your location, and then when another person uses their phone or a tablet to look through um, onto wherever that location is, uh, those photos show through. And uh, we'll get a demo here in a little bit uh, from Zach. Um, but we think that this uh, solution is nice because it encourages the exploration uh, using the phone um, or a tablet, whatever you have. And instead of just taking a picture, putting it on your phone and forgetting about it, you can actually tag it to a location, and it kind of becomes yours. Uh, forever until you delete uh, the mark. Um, and so there are some other solutions out there uh, that are sort of like this. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, et cetera. Um, these allow the option of sharing photos already, but like I said earlier, they kind of become a feed um, uh, of photos that are just kind of mindless and emotionless. Uh, they all kind of become the same thing after a while, just a little bit different flavor. Um, and there's no, there's no interaction between the content and the location with these applications um, because a photo is a photo no matter where it was taken, um, if it was posted. Uh, so how is our solution different? Well, the big one is the augmented reality feature. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, uh, Flickr, all those, they don't have the augmented reality feature. I mean, that's what really sets us apart from that. Um, the augmented reality feature, like I said, too, um, it encourages the exploration, and that's really what makes it different than Facebook and Twitter, Instagram. Um, is that uh, exploration is encouraged and it, it's more fun um, than it is of just simply taking a photo and you know, forgetting about it. Um, and it has potential to turn any environment into a fun and interactive zone. Um, and now for a demo, I will pass it on to Zach. You're right, you're right. Click interpol screen. So anyways, we've set up the application to mirror its display up on the projector so you guys can follow along as we're using the application. But basically, I've just launched Mark. Uh, this is the main screen. Um, you'll notice the target. Um, that's to let users know that they should be probably scanning for marks. It's sort of a reminder. Um, so I'll show you that functionality first. Um, so say I wanted to view marks that were taken uh, in this direction over here. I can sort of move around and they'll appear, they'll float onto the screen if I'm pointing at the direction that they were taken. So you can see that this is a picture of the columns at night. So I'm going to tap on that. It brings up a new view. And this view um, is sort of cool. It has a lot of different features. First, I can click on comments, write a small comment about the application. Um, I can like it. I like this mark. So um, it's actually connected with Facebook. So um, it automatically links. And I can also view tags. This one doesn't have any. Another really cool functionality about this screen is it actually scrolls. So I can scroll through, and these uh, marks that are also in here are marks that are taken in the same general area as the mark that you tapped on, which is sort of cool because it gives you a timeline view of the location that you're in. So now that you've seen how to uh, view a mark, I'm going to show you the experience of creating one. So at the very bottom, there's this four button navigation. If I tap on mark, it brings up this filter. And what that does, it actually removes the marks from the screen so that you have a clear shot of whatever you're trying to take a picture of. But say I want to take a picture of you guys. Captured it. 
and it brings up this view. And here I can write a small caption, uh, put a frame on it maybe, um, and tag Justin. And then I'll mark the location. And this brings up a menu that selects the privacy. So say um, I only wanted my friends to view this application, I could connect secret, or, or that was only me, if only I wanted um, to be able to see this, app, uh, this mark in the future, it would be secret. Friends, if you're connected with Facebook, everyone can, on your Facebook friends can see it, or world where everyone can see it. And I'm gonna make this a world mark. And it animates right into the augmented reality view. And there it is. So, this is actually the second iteration of the application that we've developed. Um, the first iteration, we had a sort of complicated user interface. And so over the past semester, we've been working um, with our users and getting feedback from our initial launch to try to uh, make it a better application. So um, the view on the right, um, you'll notice the four button navigation at the bottom. That's actually the major change that uh, we made uh, since last semester. Uh, the one on the left, it doesn't have that. It's sort of complicated to use. Um, each page had a different way of navigating. And so this new navigation, uh, our users seem to really like. Um, and now Ben's going to talk to you about our web application. amount of money we need to, uh, thank you, <laughs> to go up. And Heroku is what we're using to uh, host our web application. And Parse is used to uh, for our user management and uh, geocoding of the marks. And yeah, Parse, Parse is cool because uh, it gives you these APIs to work with all all different, um, all different platforms. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's free at first. One million API requests per month, and uh, yeah. So, for the future, what are we going to do for the future? What are we going to do with this? We we're thinking about creating some like Vine type of video marks, like a six second mark, where you could just, you know, look and see a mark, but it's a video. And uh, our next step is also, you know, getting our 2.0 in the App Store, making it cr cross-platform pl to get in the uh, Android sto store, possibly the win Windows store also. And then eventually we could see this being something for Google Glass. Like we're always, you know, constantly paying attention to that. And uh, we're really excited about that. Any questions? We have about five minutes. A question down here in front. Do you have to be in? Uh, it looked like you could. You know, you were scanning the room to see if those were there. Do you? Can, if you're, if you're, uh, can you actually look at a map and then kind of zoom in, or do you have to be right at the physical location?
So what is the plan next now that you have a prototype? Um, the big plan right now is to continue testing with our new um, app that we have. Uh, like Zach had said, we had an app already um, in the store last semester, and that was kind of our version 1.0, and that's been tested, um, and that's what now is birthed uh, 2.0. And so we want to get 2.0 out to the store as soon as possible. Um, it's iOS right now only, so it's going to go to the iOS store, um, and that will um, help us continue more testing. Uh, and then also, hopefully, it can go cross-platform uh, past that point. And then, um, I don't know, is there any? Yeah, that'd be it, sorry. Behind you, Randy. You said that this was uh, application version 2.0 or something. That's not the first version you're testing. And you've been testing it on you know, people, sort of. What feedback are you getting? And what are people saying to you? And are they using the application as you expected them to or not? Yeah, so the, the, the big feedback that we got was um, login system. We were only using Facebook. Um, now we have a three-way login, so you can log with Twitter, Facebook, or a custom login, username, and email. Um, that was one of the big complaints. The other big complaint, which is the one I talked about, was the user interface. It was actually really, really complicated to use. We used logos for a lot of the things instead of text, and people didn't really realize what the buttons did. Um, so we've changed it um, to be a lot more streamlined. Uh, they seem to really like the application. On your point about uh, how, if they're using it the way we expected, they are not creating as many marks as we expected. So they're using it more of a viewing experience than a creating experience. Um, and so one of the things that we're trying to do is um, try to find some third party APIs, so uh, Panoramio or something like that, uh, to integrate. Um, and so they can use it as a viewing more than a creating. So for the, the photos that you already have in your library, you know, on your computer, how do you upload those? Is that, is that a part of your function also? Yeah, we do have the functionality to import a photo. Um, we don't really want to make that uh, a function that people use a lot because we do want people to go out and take marks where the, you know, where they've been. But we do understand that some people do want to import them later. Um, so that is a functionality you'd have to transfer over your phone. But we don't want people to use the computer. All right. Uh, thank you, Team Mark. We appreciate uh, your presentation. Also to Audio Pixel Alpha. And thanks again to uh, Professors uh, Musser and Williams for uh, allowing us to have access to their students in the uh, IT capstone class.